Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from XVRAudimation.com and this is part 8 of our Understanding Appium video series. And in this part, we are going to discuss about Appium Inspector window and Android UI Automator window. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 7 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Appium Inspector window. Appium has its own sophisticated inspector window as shown below. It has a window, remember in part 7, where we were talking about the Appium Inspector window as one of the component of the Appium server which we installed. And it has a window as shown below in the screenshot and it has a refresh button and it has a display and details, all those things. But in the screenshot below, as you can see, the display has got the application which we are going to look for and it has some related details on that. And in the left side of the window, you can see that it has a uh, hierarchy of uh, the application with the control which we are targeting for and uh, it is highlighted there in the bold and also it has a message below when it is updated and it has a touch and text tab as you can see right so what is this app inspector window it's basically more like a object spy in qtp or a coder ui test builder in visual studio so in those windows we actually try to identify the control of an application which is running in our machine but since our android applications will be running in the emulator or a simulators or a real device these application which are running under test has to be identified using only these sophisticated inspector windows provided by appium or some other means in Robotium, we don't have a separate inspector like Robotium inspector uh, which can does the operation as you can see here. Since Robotium proprietary version has got that kind of feature like what you're seeing right now in Appium where you can identify the controls of the application under test which is running in the Android emulator or the real device. But here in Appium, it is available out of the box, right? So let's see them in action instead of just talking about it. So for that, I need to first open the Android emulator and run the emulator. So I'm going to flip to my window. And here is my Android SDK running. So I'm going to start my AVD. And I'm going to start my emulator. So this is my emulator which I already have. So I'm going to just hit the start and I'm going to launch this. So this will launch the emulator for me. And again, if the emulator is launched, it will take a lot of time to load the operating system. All right, the loading of emulator has just started. So now the Android is loaded. So I'm just going to unlock this operating system and I'm going to navigate to my calculator application which we developed already in automating Android application using Robotium playlist of the Execute Automation channel. So if you have not already watched that channel, uh, you can always go and watch that. So it's already available in YouTube. So here is the channel for Android automation with Robotium and you can see here we have already developed a calculator applications. So here is the part. It is nothing but developing Android native application part A and also there is a uh, one more part for writing the Android native application. So in these parts we actually developed the calculator application. So this is the calculator application we developed in those two parts. And also we automated this application using Robotium. So since we're dealing with Appium here, we will actually do it in a different way to automate this application, right? And here for this calculator application, you can see what it does is you can just uh, enter some values here, like 20 or maybe here in the second number, you can enter 30 and this will result to 50. 
So if we want to automate this particular application, we need to somehow know what is the controls uh, property or ID. So for doing that in Robotium, what we're doing is we're we were directly drilling down to the application under test source code, and then we were knowing what is their IDs, what are their identification properties. But rather, using Appium, we can perform the same operation in a different way with the help of Appium inspector window. So I'm going to open the Appium inspector window now. So for that, I'm going to open the Appium. And then if we try to click the inspector window for detecting the application under test in the emulator, and then if you try to refresh this, you will get a message stating fail to connect to the server. Please check if it is running. So if you open the Appium, it will be in an off state meaning it should be turned on manually. So we need to hit this launch the Appium node server button. So this will start the node server of your Appium. So once the Appium is started, what it basically do is it will try to connect to your application under test with the desired capability settings which you have made here in the Android. And I have already made some default setting to connect to the calculator APK. So right now it is not very very much required for us. That's why I have to skip this one because we will be dealing with a uh, desired capability setting in upcoming videos of this video series. So now it seems like the Appium server has started. And then as you could see, the application is also running in the emulator. So now if I click this inspector window and if I try to refresh this button, you can see behind the scenes, it is just going to connect to the emulator device and it's trying to connect with the adb.exe devices automatically. And then if it is connecting, meaning it is going to also bring up the device details along with the application which is running in the emulator. So let's wait for a second and see if we could see our application under test is coming or not. So it's doing a lot of job for you behind the scenes which we don't have to worry about. All right, seems like it is connected. And yep, so the inspector window is loaded. And here you can see in the inspector window that uh, it's bringing me up some layout, android.widget.framework layout. And this is the top parent of this particular application. And it has a view. And within a view, it has two frame layouts, one and two. So our application's controls is actually laying under the second layout. And here, there is a relative layout. And within this relative layout, we have this particular controls, like enter number one. So this is the enter number one, and which is nothing but a label. And edit text zero is actually our control. Similarly, uh, edit text zero, uh, which you are seeing right now here, is actually the control which we are looking for. And you can see that the edit text zero has got the resource ID as this com.example.calculator colon ID slash edt number one, which means this is the uh, edit number one is the controls uh, which I'm looking for this one and edit number two is the uh, second text box and then there is a radio group and within radio group you have this add and subtract and the multiply for these controls so it basically uh, brings me up all the data for me and then we have a feature in Appium inspector window is uh, you can also drill down to the control and pass the value to it from the window itself, as you can see in the screenshot below. So you can pass the value to the control, like the text box for the enter number one or enter number two. So all those text box, we can pass the value from here as well. So that is one of the feature in the Appium inspector window. So well, what is Android UI Automator? So UI Automator, on the other hand, is even more sophisticated than Appium Inspector window since we can also hover over the control and get the controls detail. And this is much more sophisticated, which I feel personally while working with because the Appium Inspector window lacks some of the features which the UI Automator window has and which is one of the most useful feature 
which AppIM Inspector window does not has, which UI Automator have. And uh, the only feature it does not have is passing the value from there, but it doesn't make any sense to me. The reason is, why do we need to pass the value from an emulator or the inspector window to see if it really works because we're going to pass the value programmatically so we just want to drill down the control and see what are their properties that is the only intention of these uh, ui automator or the appm inspector window so let's see how it differentiate in action so for that i'm going to my command prompt so i'm going to just copy this path and i'm going to paste it right here and uh, let's leave the space at least and uh, then you can oops colon and here in the ui automator viewer dot dat if you open this you can see that this ui automator viewer uh, is much same like uh, the ui inspector window it has the same kind of uh, panels here and there but the only thing is missing is the one which you can pass the value but that's okay and here, if we say take the uh, device screenshot or device screenshot with compressed hierarchy, uh, it is little compressed way of taking the screenshot, but this is going to take the whole uh, application screenshot. And uh, we'll see what it's going to do. Oops. So right now we're going to work on the calculator application. So let's open that. Okay, it's already taken the screenshot. Maybe we'll ask him to take once again the screenshot so that it will take the screenshot of the application as well. All right, see, the application is loaded. And the beautiful part is if I navigate in the screen like this, do you see that uh, it exactly targets in the hierarchy there on which control I am hovering towards? And also it shows me its related resource ID or class name or the package name, the content descriptions, and what is the text for this all effort right and it also has uh, a very beautiful part is that the grouping itself is very very easy for us to understand how the hierarchy is grouped right so it is much simpler and much sophisticated than the appm inspector window so in the next video of this video series by programming on Appium, we'll be using UI Automator Viewer a lot than compared to the Appium Inspector window, right? So this is much sophisticated than the Appium Inspector window. So these are the only difference between the Appium Inspector window as well as the UI Automator, which is provided by Android itself. So this is a bundle tool available along with your Android SDK, right? So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.